The more Donald Trump talks about banning all Muslims from the United States, the more of a backlash he generates. There's a movement now in Britain to ban him from that country. An honorary degree he got in Scotland has been revoked. Though as Arthur Pohl reports, all the negative attention just seems to make him stronger. His proposal translated into a call to action in Turkey. Donald Trump's message reverberated around the world. Outrage from Turkey to Pakistan. A Dubai-based company suspended sales of all Trump-branded products. Condemnation from Iran, Egypt and France. A call for a ban on Trump in Great Britain. My understanding that the Home Secretary has banned 84 hate preachers from entering the UK. Will the government lead by example in considering making Mr. Donald Trump yeah, number 85? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Despite sparking outrage around the globe, triggering a political earthquake at home, Trump remains defiant. Do you regret your ban on Muslims, which some people think is, is un-American? Not at all. We have to do the right thing. Somebody in this country has to say what's right. Are you a bigot? Not at all. Probably the least of anybody you've ever met. Well, that's not what they're saying in the city of brotherly love. He's a he has no idea what he's talking about. And in his home state? He actually just represents the face of something very evil in this country. An anti-Trump rally. Shame on you and shame on the leaders of the Republican Party who until they stand up and state clearly that if Mr. Trump is their nominee, they will withhold their support. Criticism of his party is mounting, but Teflon Trump is going strong. I don't see who stops him at this point. Strategists say at this stage, Trump, leading the polls, appears to be the party's only shot at the White House. The party can take a stronger voice, but here's the catch. Those supporters, those activists who are behind that candidate, then become more agitated. If they're mad, they sit out. Embroiled in the firestorm Trump has sparked, Republicans are stuck. They may not stand a chance at winning without him, but risk alienating millions of Americans, including many of the party's most prominent supporters, if it stands with him. Arthur Pohl, Global News, Washington.